So now we've finished our controllers. I just wanted to just give you some uh, sort of a running uh, or something running, uh, show you it all kind of in action as it were. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this up. Bring that forward so that we can use it in a minute. So when this is all running, uh, what I have here I have Postman. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire in a couple of posts, so a create, and then I'm going to do a get, so you can actually see um, something. Now one caveat in this is that um, I've gone by hand and added the assigned task. I haven't actually put in a controller for that, something you could do, uh, but just to show you it running over that, if you, if you don't have that set up, then you'll have an issue when you're trying to say, uh, view uh, some employees to the API because there's null values. So you need to do that up front uh, and if you're using this to, to build a tool then you'll need to have that as part of the process. But anyway, let's first fire in a post to uh, task. So we had a new task called dry up and do the dry up and then set a date of today. So literally this is a post send and it's Will run. You can actually see updates on here, sort of. Um, but but that's now I do. We'll see that in a minute. So if I go here and I go to tasks, we should see that there's a new task now called dry up. There we go. See, so that's actually written through the API call. Next, we want to add uh, a new employee. Again, it's just a put using the employee that we created uh, in the previous video. And again, if I view there and I do a run that I'll see now there's a new chef called George um, with the assigned tasks you can see here using the uh, employee um, ID value and also the same from the task if I run that again quickly you'll see um, the, that those two and in here I just click and show you of said the task ID of one and two they're assigned to employee one Okay, just so you know, I've, I've pre-done that, otherwise it, the whole kind of pull won't get when you try to get employees, because what you want to do is you want to pull an employee and then see the tasks, basically. That's the whole point of this. So anyway, I'm doing a get on employee. Um, now, as I say, because we set up the link, this is why you need that in place. But if I click send now, we can see it pulling the information. That's the nice actual set out um, return JSON. No, no, the, the problem, there's an issue with this as you can see, is it has this issue of just continually um, embedded values in there. So in the next video we'll show you how to fix that.